Yeah, Nick. Oh my gosh, it is great to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, where where are you uh, uh, zooming from right now? Hello, Jimmy. Thank you for having me. I'm coming at you from the farm where we shoot our show, making it the crafting competition show of on, uh, on NBC. You're back to I work. Oh, that's great. How's it feel? Is it is it weird? Is it safe? Is it good? What does it feel like? It feels like the end of a really good movie that like where, where normal humans would cry. Um, and, and I even, I even well up a bit. Um, no. It feels so good because I've spent all this time feeling like I wasn't of any use to anybody. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm a farm animal. Like I, you, if you put me to work in the field and then I feel good, and then I can have my carrot and my apple at the end of the day, <laughs> by which I mean my scotch. <laughs> but this is, uh, so wait, so you're there with Amy and all the contestants and the crew and everything, is it? Somebody way smarter than me, one of our producers, I guess they consulted the science or like what the doctors are saying. And so they've put everybody in masks <laughs> and face shields and they've uh what are they they call them protocols we uh adhere to these protocols yeah social distancing all these cr you know newfangled like trends um and they so you look around we're shooting this show and everybody's in a mask and and they're complying with these like science ideas and we're able to produce our show successfully no one is catching the yeah. coronavirus. Wow. So I wish that, I mean, I don't know how they figured this out, but I wish there was some way to communicate this to like the country or like our government or something, because I feel like if they found out about it, right. they would tell everybody and they'd be like, hey, everybody, if you follow these like science ideas, you can go to work and be safe and not die, all that. Yeah. Here's the thing. When I look around and see all of us being safe, the idea that hasn't been fully disseminated is when you wear the protective equipment, it's not to protect yourself. It's to protect the others around you in, in case you have it, which you might. And so when I see everybody doing this, I, I, I take it as a sign of affection. It's every it's me and my neighbors and my coworkers, and no one asks what our political beliefs are. We just see each other working together and say, I love you and thank you for loving me. We can do our job, we can earn our money, we can feed our families. That's right. In my case, I can, my wife and I can use our Japanese sex swing. We can afford meals, keep our energy up, have marathon <laughs> sessions. We can buy Vaseline when we get chased. Oh, all right, we yeah, yeah, going. we get the point. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Nick Offerman, you found a way to help and entertain people uh, at the same time because uh, you, you've made all your comedy specials available now uh, on, on your website with the proceeds going to charity. Uh, I think that's an awesome move. And uh, was it the quarantine that inspired you to do this or what? No, it, it's, um, it's sort of, uh, it, it's not anything that I should be proud of. Like I've been touring as a humorist for some years. So I have, uh, this, this audio book is my fourth special. My first three specials, um, I, I'm terrible at promoting them. And so it took me a long time and uh, sevens and even tens of people were asking me, <laughs> where can I see your specials? <laughs> so I finally succeeded after literally years of getting them on a website that people can see. But I'm so late that some, some, some nefarious criminal has already secured NickOfferman.com. So I, uh, I <laughs> have acquired NickOfferman.co. So NickOfferman.co. NickOfferman.co. So no uh, M. No. I, couldn't, yeah, I couldn't afford the M. Understood. Okay. The thing is, the timing was such that right when the website was ready to launch, the pandemic hit and everybody was in trouble. Uh, yeah. People are, are out of work. You know, the whole country, the whole world is suffering. And I said, well, geez, now what do I do? Uh, it's not it's not great timing to be like you guys i'm sorry about everybody in the hospital and stuff but 
check out my crazy jackass comedy specials. Yeah. And so I just thought, you know what? At least 37 people have said they wanted to see this. So for those people, I'm going to put this up. But all the proceeds, it costs a few bucks to see my special. And all the, all the profits go to America's Food Fund. So I was like, okay, we'll get these 37 people with questionable taste. I will take their money. I love and we that. Will, we will buy sandwiches for at least 11 people. That's awesome you did that, buddy. I, I, I think that's cool. I, I want to talk about uh, uh, All Rise. Um, this is, uh, first of all, who, who uh, did the drawing and the uh, cartoon? My friend Matt Davies, he's a, he's a Pulitzer Prize winning uh, political cartoonist. He works for the publication Newsday. Yeah. So funny. This was the live show that you were going to tour with. It is, yeah, um, and, I, and I toured uh, a bunch of America with it uh, last year, and also Australia and New Zealand, and my cool publisher called Dutton, uh, hey. under under the auspices of Penguin Random House, yeah. they came and saw me at the Beacon on the Upper West Side, and they said, hey, what if we turn this into like an audiobook original, so it's, it's like a humor show, it's like me reading my essays and performing my dumb songs, um, one of them is very poignant right now uh, about Brett Kavanaugh called I Like Beer. Oh. And the, uh, you know, the, the Supreme Court justices uh, and, and their legitimacy or lack thereof has been in the news recently. Sure. So, you know, I thought it was, it's a great opportunity to celebrate that guy and how much he loves beer. Here's my one question for Nick Offerman. If, if, if we listen to this, what are we missing of, of, of seeing you live? Like, are, like, what would you, you know, are, are we missing out on anything? That's a great question, Jimmy. I mean, obviously, you're going to get the, you're gonna get the, the soothing sounds of, of, like, Brian Eno, Music for Airport, if they were a uh, hirsute baritone coming into your ears. And, and that will put you to sleep, which is great. We all need to get some rest. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. But what you're missing yep. is the rest of your senses. Think about it. That's like, true. You're, you're not going to see me dance and like just subtly move my hips in that way that drives everybody crazy. You know what I'm talking about. But also, there, there are some, there are some stopgap measures you can, you can pursue. Like if you're going to listen to this, get yourself a nice tray of charcuterie. Um, maybe some sliced up some smoked applewood cheddar and uh, and then have a, a single malt uh, <laughs> scotch from the island of Isla and just waft those ah, things under your nose. And, and if you if you live in an area, uh, most of the upper Midwest, where the soil is particularly loamy, get a bowl of that soil, uh, throw it in the microwave for about 90 seconds. And then just these aromas will help recreate the fecund musk that I tend to fill a theater with when I'm dancing about the stage. Uh, that is perfect. I will do that this weekend. If you dig fertility, you're going to love my scent. <laughs> Everyone go listen and experience Nick's audiobook, All Rise. Nick Offerman, thank you so much for being here. Be safe. Say hi to your wife, please, and uh, give her my love. And say hi to Amy, too, please. I will. Thank you, Jimmy. It's great to see you. And you know what? Can I say one more thing real quick? Please. Yep. I feel like we're, we're a few days away from a presidential election, in case the, the audience hasn't heard. And the only people, I think most people are probably pretty decided. But when I was young and I was ambivalent and, and was like too cool to worry about what was going on with who I would vote for, if there's anybody like that listening, I just want to make you think for one second what could be more punk if you're like cynical and who cares who gets elected? What could be more punk than going out and voting? I love that. Nick Offerman, everybody. All Rise is available now.